Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Dean's Grange Cemetery and we have heard that Sinead O'Connor has um, got a new headstone up. So I'm going to bring you over to her grave, tell you a little bit about her and pay her respects. Sinead Marie Bernadette O'Connor, born the 8th of December 1966, was an Irish singer, songwriter and activist. Her debut album, The Lion and the Cobra, was released in 1987 and achieved international success. Her album, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, released in 1990, was her biggest commercial success, selling over 7 million copies worldwide. The single Nothing Compares to You was actually honoured as the top world single of the year at the Billboard Music Awards. In 1992, Am I Not Your Girl and Universal Mother both certified gold in the UK. In 2000, Fate and Courage was certified gold in Australia and Throw Down Your Arms achieved gold status in Ireland in 2005. Her career, she collaborated with numerous artists, acted in films like The Butcher Boy. She was in a documentary about Shane McGowan and her songs were used in films. Even Conor McGregor walked out to his fights with Sinead O'Connor singing Foggy Dew. Sinead constantly drew attention to issues such as child abuse, human rights and racism. During a Saturday Night Live performance in 1992, she tore up a photo of Pope John Paul. Now, I remember that and at the time I couldn't understand why she did it. Um, you know, Pope John Paul, I, I really liked Pope John Paul, but now that I know more about it, it was actually more to do with the, the child abuse uh, by the Catholic Church rather than aimed directly at Pope John Paul. Sinead openly talked about her own childhood, her trauma and her own struggles with mental health. In 2018, she adopted the name Shuhada Sadeget, converting to Islam. On the 6th of January 2022, her son Shane was reported missing and Shane was found dead just a day later. And I know I followed Sinead on lots of social media and, you know, her struggles were real. And, you know, she really, really was heartbroken over her son. The next day, in fact, Sinead was admitted to hospital. Unfortunately, um, Sinead was found dead on the 26th of July, aged just 56, in her London flat. Um, it's extremely sad. You know, Sinead was such a beautiful singer, a beautiful woman. You can remember that she was so famous for her, her skin head and those big brown eyes. I mean, Nothing Compares to You is just, what you know, an amazing song and definitely my favourite, along with, I love her singing actually, Foggy Dew. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to walk over now and pay our respects to her and show you her new headstone. So I've just spotted this beautiful little angel and I had to stop. It just says, cherished memory of Sheila Patricia Kelleher and she passed away the 7th of November 1939 aged 18 years. Also her devoted friend Timothy Dilworth um, 1958 and her loving father Patrick 1969. So when Sinead passed away we actually drove up to Bray to her former home um, and we left flowers for her and the amount of people there um, who were, you know, upset to hear the news and, you know, we talked to several people and they were all just devastated, you know, that 
this had happened to her and, you know, her son as well. Um, her funeral was, unfortunately, we were away when her funeral happened, but, it, it, you know, we watched it as much as we could kind of live and um, it, she wanted kind of an upbeat funeral. So her hearse went by with her coffin. Thousands of people had thronged the streets of Bray to pay their respects and, you know, behind the hearse was a, a, a little van playing reggae music. Um, she had her house painted in all the, the reggae kind of colours and, you know, it just it, it was just extremely sad. Um, but as I said, I followed her on social media and several times she had, you know, looked for help. Um, you know, d d just different occasions when she came online, she always seemed to be so troubled and yet she was such a strong woman um, to do what she did she spoke out she spoke from her heart even when people you know didn't like her for it you have to admire uh, her strength and having said that you know she was strong but yet she had this weakness of her own mental health struggles and you know losing her son definitely really sent her over the edge and she was heartbroken and you know I remember seeing her last video that she put up on social media and I just thought oh Sinead if you knew how much you were loved and if you could just get yourself out of that struggle that she was in. Um, the results are you know how they say she died was of natural causes um, but I mean, at 56, it's just way, way too young to, uh, you know, to pass and to leave us. Um, so we're nearly here and I will turn you back on when we get to our grave. Right, so Sinead's mother is actually buried here, but not with her. And Sinead's son is not buried in Dean's Grange. He's in... Newlands Cross Cemetery. Yeah. But if you want to find Sinead, you just come in the main gates, you take a right, and just along by the new graves, you'll find her, her headstone. Right. So Sinead is just buried here. She's in a little area called the garden. As I said, come straight in the main gates. And turn to your right. Sinead O'Connor, the 8th of December 1966 to the 26th of July 2023. God is love, wrote underneath it. And we have lots and lots of fresh flowers. And I'm not sure you'll see it, but we have beautiful Christmas lights around her, her headstone. And down through the flowers as well. So a very, very sad grave to, to visit. She has a beautiful headstone. Just passed way too, too soon. Her mother is somewhere else in Dean's Grange, as I said. So she's here on her own. But as I said, plenty of visitors have come and left flowers, which is lovely to see. We've just met a couple from... From Holland. Yeah. From Holland, who have come to visit Sinead, and they have been to a, several concerts of Sinead, so it's lovely to, to meet people from that far who have come here to pay their respects. And of course, only recently there, we lost Shane McGowan, and Shane McGowan and Sinead were very close friends as well, and sang that fantastic song. Haunted. haunted yeah. I don't want to be haunted by the ghost. It's a great song. Christy Dignam. Christy Digman then as well this year. You know, well, last year, now this is 2024, but 2023, we lost so many of, uh, you know, these amazing, Art. unique artists, singers, songwriters. So, Sinead, thank you very much for your fantastic voice, your music, and for just being you. God bless. Right, so guys, that's it 
for today in Dean's Grange Cemetery. We have several videos actually on the cemetery. Grey Visitations here has already visited Sinead's final resting place, but it was prior to the headstone. So if you want to take a look at that, um, it's on Grave Visitations channel. But a very, very sad grave uh, to, to visit. I absolutely loved Sinead and you know, she had great courage in what she did in life and spoke out about things a lot of us won't speak about. But as we get blinded by the sun, thanks Sinead. Um, but for now, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again soon.